Recently, my subscription feed has been full of people talking about what they've read recently, the books they've read. And it's a little bit intimidating, to be honest. Because first of all, they've read a lot of books. We're talking like four or five books a month. And they're reading like intellectual books that look a bit hard. I've not been reading a lot of books. I've not been reading intellectual books. This is what I've been reading. Um, it took me about six weeks to finish. Um, it's really trashy, but even this can help you with your vision. So this is a great book. Love to see if you can sell it. This is like the eighth in the Shopaholic series. Literally, I will laugh out loud. I used to read them on the tube in work and that's so, so funny. Um, and it doesn't really matter what you're reading, whether you're reading um, trashy books like this, whether you're reading comics, whether you're reading magazines, the important thing is that you are reading. And the reason this took me about six weeks to read is because I just took it to bed and read maybe for like 10, 15 minutes before I went to sleep every night with a cup of tea, decaf tea. Um, and this is good for a number of reasons. Um, it gets you get you away from screens before you go to bed, lets your mind wind down with something that isn't like blaring at you because it's nice, nice soft colours in there. Um, so it will let you, it will help you get to sleep easier. And the big, big thing, the big, big reason why you should be reading is that it will help you in your exams. Now, there is a massive trend in exams, not just your English history, geography exams, with lots of words, but in science and maths exams as well, towards long, long blocks of text. And then you have to read through the long, long blocks of text and, um, interpret what they're saying basically but if you're not used to reading like big blocks of text seeing that in an exam can be intimidating so first of all it gets you used to reading blocks of text the second thing is it's going to increase your vocabulary so if you see words you're unfamiliar with if you see them in a the context of a book that you're enjoying reading um you can like try and work out what they mean so then when they come up in the exam because they are using complicated words in an exam um then you're going to be more familiar with the words you're going to be able to work out what they mean um more so i think the exams are aimed at someone with an average reading age of about 15 16 they are actually lowering that for the new specifications to a reading age of about 13 but still you're going to be expected to use sophisticated sophisticated vocabulary you're going to be expected to be able to pull information out of blocks of text so I don't mind what you are reading, whether you want to go for the five books a month of highly intellectual authors who have had traumatic lives and are now dead, or if you want to go for books about people that like shopping in Las Vegas, or, you know, your graphic novels, magazines, whatever, just, I don't mind what you read, just please, please, please read something. And it's okay to read it on a traditional Kindle, but try not to use anything that's backlit or anything that has a blue light coming out of it. So don't read it on your iPad, don't read it on your phone. Um, just because your brain doesn't like that before going to bed. So please get reading, please. It will help you in your exams. It's also going to be good for just relaxing a little bit, de-stressing a little bit. Um, it'll help you go to sleep. So loads of benefits. Go buy some books. <laughs>